Previously on Fiesta in a Box, we saw Chef Ninong Rai and myself heated up in the kitchen. Who will come out victorious in today's episode? Fiestas represent the culture and values of the Philippines. Fun-loving people gather in the streets to dance, pay tribute to their town's history, and of course, to eat. Since we can't party just yet, we want to help keep these traditions alive by bringing them indoors and having your favorite people battle it out in the kitchen. This is Fiesta in a Box. Today we have singer, actress, model, author, multi-hyphenate, the mom of Tilan Katana, and my sister, Selene Yusuf, going against possibly the person I hate the most, the most annoying person in the world, president and co-founder of the Bullied Husbands Club, Nico Bolzico. This should be fun. So quiet. It was very oh. fun. Welcome, <laughs> Welcome to our humble home. Welcome to our humble home. What's up, guys? <laughs> it's like a pomegranate. Mm, yummy wood. Okay, so this is a, a familiar pairing. I hope it's not getting old. <laughs> Are you guys not sick of each other? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, After no, no, the no, whole no. two years of being home, no? Okay. No, no, no. no. Are, no. Are you sick? I'm okay. Say yes or no answer? No, no. <laughs> no, okay. Me also. Nico's not the best cook. Wow. As a lot of you probably know, Selene is actually a decent cook. But the dish that we're going to ask you to right. make... <laughs> he called you decent, so he, he, he threw both <laughs> of us under the bus. These are chefs I'm from Bacolod, we're effed. Yeah, so <laughs> one of the judges today is I'm actually... I'm so effed! Why? Is actually, My fake cooking skills online is going to be when you, put to the test. L let the good okay, man go, talk, go. because go. I'm going to be when you think her. When you think of one <laughs> chef from Bacolod, you think of this guy. For our judges, we have surfer chef Bacolod-born JP Anglo, returning judge chef Ninong Rai, and myself. Chef Martin will also be guiding our contestants today. But funnily enough, none of us here today, except for Chef Martin, yeah. has actually made this dish. I could be wrong. So I probably don't even know the name. Ryan? I don't even know what the dish is. Have you made piaya before? Piaya? Yeah, have you made piaya? So none of us. None of us know how to make this dish except for Chef Martin. So Chef Martin later is going to come and talk to you guys to explain to you how to make piaya. Um, Do you know what piaya is? I have absolutely no idea what okay, piaya so is. That's why. If it is from Macolo, I have to have some chicken on it. <laughs> so I'll show you a quick VTR now. We're doing the regular piaya or we're doing a twist on the piaya? It's up to you. Bacolod, the city of smiles and home to the Mascara Festival. Mascara is an annual fiesta held every fourth Sunday of October. It took its name from the word mas, which means many, and cara, a Spanish word that means face. Streets are usually embellished with lively decorations as kinetic energy fills the air. And the main event? There's the Mascara street dance competition, where barangays battle it out on the dance floor to the tune of Latin music. At night, Electric Mascara, Bacola's biggest street party, begins. The night parade features dancers garbed in neon lights as they ride on lit floats and make their way up and down the Laxon Strip, where food stalls are plentiful and locals and tourists are all out to party. But behind all the fun and good vibes lays a bleak pass, as the Festival of Smiles started at the lowest point of Bacola City's history. In the 1980s, the city relied on sugarcane as its primary agricultural crop, but the world market for sugar went down drastically. To make matters worse, the MV Don Juan sank and hundreds of bacoleños perished in the tragedy. The city was so gloomy, so a group of artists got together and came up with a festival to lift everyone's spirits. They thought of a visual representation of happiness, and hence, the vibrant, smiling mascara was born. But since we can't put on our masks yet and party in Bacolod because of this pandemic, let us still make this fiesta a little bit sweeter. About piaya, syempre, I think everyone has to try it. Especially for those na hindi pa nakapunta dito sa Bacolod. It really symbolizes what we are. It really symbolizes kung ano yung Bacolod. It really symbolizes not just Bacolod but all over the Nebros talaga. As they say, the simplest are normally the best. So it's really on the technique and the freshness. If it comes straight from the griddle, 
then you're in for a treat. It's a staple every single day. <laughs> I guess it's because it's muscovado sugar is so abundant and it's a staple dish because it's so iconic and it symbolizes that you're in Bacol already. And so I guess as you know, to welcome you to Mascara or to the city, we offer you Piaya as well. When you leave, we send you Piaya. Ilongos always love to show you around and then do it in the, f and they do it through food or through cooking for you or bringing you to different restaurants. So the more reasons for us to uh, be more hospitable, then we grab that opportunity. And I think Mascara is one of them. Are you hungry yet? I know we are. But the question is, who will make our judges smile with a bite of their piaya? Let's find out who gets a taste of sweet victory in today's Fiesta in a Box challenge. You can if do I a... Win, what do I get? I want to know the price. You I win. Oh my gosh, it's bragging victory. rights. Yeah, hello. Yeah. Have you ever won anything against me? Okay, for the next two hours, I'm going to give this to our one. Wow. Ooh. Because Ooh. I feel, I feel I if feel I have so this in my finger, I'm if shaking. I have this in my finger, I feel like I, I'm always... Like, Should I eat it and then... Just keep it properly. <laughs> I want to my bag. <laughs> Look like a Mexican drug lord. So we're gonna move into the kitchen, and you have Time. one hour to make your piaya. You ready? Okay, go. Okay, let's go. Um, so JP, what do you look for in a good piaya? I guess first of all the dough. The dough should be nice and flaky and. Sorry, question. No so, <laughs> what does flaky mean? English is my second language, so I need to know exactly like, what flaky means. Like, like airy and like light, it, and kind of like it falls apart, falls crumbles apart. in your hand. Or like a croissant. Or but, yeah. a croissant. <laughs> but, croissant. But, Perfect. Yes. But, but the I get it now. I get it's a idea. different kind of flakiness, yeah. so, right? Uh, my piaya will look like a croissant. Okay. That's what JP <laughs> wants, and that's what JP gets. Okay. No, but piaya has a certain chew to it, too, right? Yes. So, it has like a pull. It's like an elasticity. Yeah. Like yes. a croissant. The croissant also. But the pull comes because of the filling. No. I thought we were on the same oh wavelength. Oh my gosh. Martin. The, You're the expert. You're the PI expert. This is it. It's the butter. It's the butter. It's the butter. It's the butter. Or the oil. We're, we're using shortening this time. Where the fat is. Okay, Nico, stop. Put, give stop. me that. You're gonna no, break no, this it's my tool. Okay, guys, I open, power with this. open your boxes. Nico, you, look, you broke it. No, I didn't break it. Yeah, it was, you it was did. like that broke before. It. No, it wasn't. We'll take the, I, I Don't do that. No, I didn't break it. It's just, just a one Open your day. box. Open your box. In your box, you have recipes. Okay, take out the ingredients that you have in there. Do not tell him what is what, please. No, no, no. no. I, I need a translator. No. English is my second language. Wait, there's no English needed for this. this Wait, there are two flowers. What's the difference between flower okay, number anyways, one and flower number two? Shut up. Now let's start. Don't, don't. Is this muscavado? Yes, correct. You guys don't. <laughs> what? Let him like, figure it out. <laughs> Chill. Okay, okay, Martin, okay. explain to us how to make the dough. All right, so just combine the flour and the salt, then rub in your shortening. The point is to make a breadcrumb-like texture. Now you're gonna mix in your water slowly. You're not gonna dump it all in. When you fully hydrate your flour and it forms into a dough, transfer it into your workstation. You're gonna knead it until it's smooth. After that, put it inside the bowl and rest it for 15 minutes. Thank for you. the filling, just combine muscovado sugar, the rest of your flour, some vegetable oil, and that's it. Oh, it's that? Okay, it seems yeah. simple, but I'm sure it's very okay. difficult. Until you form a dough. End up having two dough looking yes. things. Yeah. So once rested, you form the first dough that you make into a log, divide it into equal parts, then flatten it with your rolling pin into a very flat disc like a pita. Next, you roll your uh, muscovado filling, put it in the middle, and just fold it. Doesn't matter how you do it because you're going to flatten it again into a disc. So once you're finished, you can cook it in your pan over low heat for one and a half minutes on each side. Nico, nice do you brown. feel confident? No at all. So then you feel confident? <laughs> yeah. The okay. thing is, the thing is, Three, the thing two, is. Okay. Don't touch my stuff. Okay, the thing with this First is, I like to talk to the camera while I work. She has a lot of pressure because I am the underdog. If I lose, it was expected. If she loses, it, says, it was unexpected. Meaning, you put the salt already? Yes. So Don't meaning, copy me, this is a competition. You to make the dough, combine flour and salt, wrap in the shortening until you get 
breadcrumb texture and <laughs> isn't too <laughs> sticky. <laughs> okay, now it's starting to make sense because look, look at the consistency. Like breadcrumbs. Like breadcrumbs. So yes. Why are you always looking at me? I cannot look at you. I'm going to look everything you do exactly <laughs> and I'm going to copy exactly. What is that? It's water. Ah, you said really slowly, not to put all the water at once. Put all the water at once. I want to make this nicely. Okay, I'm going to go slowly. Book. Water wrap. Water wrap. Flaky, flaky, flaky back. Oh my gosh, this guy talks so much. Okay, you want to show where I shut up? So they, okay, put mute, mute, mute the show. Oh, the, the, the I'm tired now because of this person. I don't think you're, you're massaging it. You need to massage, massage, feel it, feel it, feel it, look, look, feel it. Okay, the series, the lens is looking good already. So at this point, the dough should start coming together. Okay, now I'm getting pressure. Okay, Martin's gonna do a spot check. Spot check. Yeah, it's good, eh, flaky? Very flaky. That's, that's my whole objective. I, I forgot about anything else but the flakiness. It's not a dough, though. Eh? Yeah. It's not a dough. I feel I'll like we need you more to add water. water. Yep. Yeah. So you. actually, none of the chefs have done this dish before. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Marty. <laughs> Liar. Marty. No, come on. I'm, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. So Almost there. For sure, none of them bake because... Oh, I put so much water. Oh, so much water. The flakiness is over. And I'm winning this competition so far. You can add more water. Half of the whole thing. My dough go. would have come together a long time ago if you guys had So it's Marty or Martin? Martin. 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 Are you a judge? No. Oh, I'm I just don't care to help you guys. <laughs> I won't help you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Just kidding. Martin, I love you. Come, come. Right, now you can transfer it to the work table. Divide the filling on. Uh, when you're kneading, just use this uh, this part. You need to lubricate the area with some flour. Just a little bit, yes. Yeah. Gently push yeah. it and fold it like this and turn. Like that? Yes. And then fold it, fold it. Like this? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. Even if it breaks, you still ah. uh, try to fold it. There. Move. Yeah, yes. Quarter turn. Quarter the other turn. way around. Ah. This. There. Yeah. Then, and, yes, ah. yes. There you go. Actually, your dough is looking quite good compared to mine. Back. Quarter turn. Bam. Yeah, again, yeah. Bam. Ay. <laughs> Ay. So I don't know what looks good or what looks bad because it's really my first time here. Me too. Okay, in the bowl. In the fridge. Okay, mine is the black one. Mine is the, uh, the not black fridge. one. Fridge. Mine is this one. Don't change them. Nico, listen. Now that we're done with the dough, we're moving on to the filling. Can you stop doing that? Look at your germs everywhere. Magic. Okay, let's start. Okay. Put some stop flour. At me. I think when you when you use your hands, you get more connected to the food. Do you agree? Yeah. So why don't you use your hands? Because I'm going to do it later. Ah, now copycat going with <laughs> your hands. Who is, aye, the, aye. who is the beta version and who is the original? I hope this I'm is yummy because I'm hungry. About the situation. <laughs> yeah, I hope it's, it's good also. Okay, so I'm going to put two tablespoons. I'm letting you know so you, you can tell that I share my secrets with you. Two tablespoons. And continue. Mm. Opa. Getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. We're guys. getting somewhere. You can try doing this at home now that you know how to make the dough. Okay, so you can put in your Martin already in. lost all kind of hope on me. Whoa. I'm at a disadvantage because I had five months of Decker veins. So now my wrist is... It's hurting? It's not hurting, but it's definitely not strong. It's, hurt. it's, it's, it's limiting your capability to cook today? Yeah. Opa, now I made a mistake because it's sticking to my hands, but it's not being distributed properly. And it says, it has to be malleable, but make sure mixture isn't too sticky. Flour. No, my, my still super sticky. Oh, you screw up! I, I need that much control here. It's only my fingers. I feel this is the moment where either I make it or break it. Okay, okay, we're back in the game. Nothing is sticking anymore. It's I'm not interested in your filling. Yeah, okay. okay. Feels okay. It looks <laughs> very familiar, I would say. It's something that you can see every day. Okay, this is the moment of truth where we put our PIs together. Ah, yeah, we need to do roll, roll this ones. Let's put this here so they can see the beauty. The dough is ready. So Where's the egg? Ah, here. Okay. I'm going to do the same. There. Hey, what are you doing? I'm cleaning my working station. Okay, so my pionono will stay here. <laughs> Pia, yeah. It's Pia, yeah. <laughs> so I feel the, the okay, dough. I think mine is nice and flaky because it's breaking. I'm going to manage 12. My feeling is pretty beautiful. You need to do 12. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Roll. Okay, rolling, 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 rolling. Mine's ah. flaking. Yeah, mine's a bit flaking also. Hmm. 
have a pretty stable technique for this. This is my tortellini number one. He said medium fire. Boom, first tortellini gone. I, I think I, I understand now. Right? Yeah. yeah it's still, still very, very, very... No, not, not hot, I put it <laughs> What do you do? It's alive! What did you do? You tried to be cool and you, you floated? No, 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 I was trying to show them how beautiful it was. Yeah. yeah. Let me know when you're gonna start. Our then. chefs are hungry. I already have two. This just happened, guys. And I expect to have a slow mo repetition of that. Okay, you guys uh, have five minutes left. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. Wait, I want a cheese grater. What, what do you want to cheese grater? I want to make some etchas on it. Are you feeling, Nico? No, not very well because I'm stressed. I am a bit stressed, but not that stressed, but like in the high level of stress. Ooh. If I were you, I would start putting things on your plate, Nico. You're burning some things already. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Everything was fun till you came, Aaron. Okay, put that Good. in the middle. What do you here, want? So that this? Just put the whole thing so Nico can use it. You can put chocolate on it. No, but you put the fire is too strong now. Pan it's not good for pantries. Okay, you have three minutes left. What? No. But wait, that's Where's my cheese grater? No, wait, that. No, in three no, minutes, no, you need to present your dish to the judges. No, the without the counting the cooking time. That no. first PI of yours has been there for literally yeah, 20 minutes. Yeah, because it's a process, everyone. Because it's a process. <laughs> this one is done. I'm gonna eat this. More burn. Oh, let me try it. But these ones are looking good. You got one minute. No! If I were Two you. Two minutes! <laughs> Two minutes! Okay, we're getting there. Nico, I, I love you, but. No, 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 but. Man, you love man, me, full stop. Man, come closer. Get him, take a look at his pan. So you have one piaya, you're adding cocoa syrup and chocolate. And the other, he's had cheese on one side of it for like five minutes, thinking it's gonna melt. It's not gonna melt. Okay, guys, you got. No! 30 seconds. Ah! <laughs> Nothing works in this kitchen. Why have so much cheese in my hand? Don't hurt your knuckles. Nigo, I don't know what you're doing, but it looks like it's burning. Got 15 seconds left. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Ah! No, that, that's fake, right? Like, it's not the... No, it's real. Ah! 10 seconds. 10. Where's the... Nine. Give, me, give me a spoon. Wait, wait, wait. Eight. Give me one of these. Seven. <laughs> Six. Oh, it's not that melt. Okay. Five. Boom, boom. Four, boom, three, two, one. Hands off, hands up. Okay, contestants, you may approach the judging bench. Please put down your creations. So then, please explain what you made today. I made a piaya from no, muscovado. No, no, yeah, I, I'm serious. I don't talk like you. <laughs> a piaya from muscovado sugar, and I want to enhance the flavor and kind of remove the sweetness. So I added grated dalandan just to give it a more tangy feel. And I just drizzled a little bit of coconut jam on it, very, very lightly, because again, I didn't want it to be too sweet so that you can appreciate the flavor of the piaya. Okay. Sir Nico? Different from Salena, I didn't forget about the culture behind the piaya. So culture is about diversity, many colors in Bacolod. So if you look at my piayas, you have the first one, it's a bit burned, because that burn has also taste. The second one is a bit less cooked and it's not broken, so it's like a classic piaya. Then I use one with cheese and one with chocolate and a coconut um, syrup. syrup. What is the lime doing there? Diversity. <laughs> <laughs> Little disclaimer, the fans had certain problems and the dough didn't rest for too long because we only had an hour, so it doesn't give you that flaky, fluffy thing I, you're I looking for. And just taste one because they all taste the same. You don't look Ultra. Are you ready for the s'mores board? Yeah, yeah. Of diversity? Maybe we can skip the big oh, one. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we skip. That's the last one. That's the last one. Okay, that's a special one. The original looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I accept defeat because I'm no, no, a person of good defeat. values in it. But also, 
the ones that you're trying right now, I was rushed by Erwan when he put the clock in the back and so... Did I say you could talk? Actually, we're not allowed to talk. Oh, we, can, we're not, we cannot? <laughs> eh? Can we spread Did but you cool. try the chocolate and no. coconut syrup before you served it to us? I have any Gordon Ramsay moment like he can be super good or super bad. Did you try it before giving no. it to us? Should I? You should have tried it. Okay, have you guys decided? Mm. Okay, we're gonna deliberate. I wanna try your cheese one. That looks really weird. The cheese makes sense. Okay. All right. We have decided one by one. <laughs> you have. I choose the one that uh, was interesting <gasps> and new. Oh my gosh. So you choose? Choose uh, Nikos. Okay, this is gonna get tough. Ryan. Well, uh, the cheese was uh, really a surprise for me. It was a uh, sweet and salty combination, it's never a bad thing, naman. Right? So, uh, Nikos, yeah, it's very good. Was it that you won? For me. But you won. For me. No, you won. We don't Selen, care about you. Selen was. <laughs> yours was good. It was okay throughout. Oh. It was consistent. It was consistent. Yeah, okay, it's, di it's different it's to win good. unanimously than it. Nico was like a roller coaster. He had some absolutely terrible bites that were undercooked, but I happened to have one really good piece. So? And I think the cheese was actually you a really like good cheese. combination. So the winner this of today's so Fiesta bullshit. in a Box is unanimously, unanimously. unanimously Nico Bolzico. <laughs> Actually, so thank you so much for the, the judges. <laughs> thank you for choosing my husband and boosting his ego. It's the first time I actually win a cooking competition, now he might and it's an official one because even though we, we joke about it, and we, we have legit, we no, have no, legit, legit judges. Tough. I think so they might be we joking. We can say so. they would let me talk. I'm, I'm the okay, winner. Okay, the winner is the, it's a champion speech. <laughs> so basically, we can say that in our marriage, the first and only time we actually compete in the kitchen was today. And so thank you so much, guys. You're so well happy. I'm sure you're so happy. I'm so happy. Well I'm so happy. Well I'm so happy. Well I'm so happy. Well so Selene and Nico's piayas were interesting to say the least, but hopefully you brought a smile to your face from, well, the, the city of smiles. Um, and I'll catch you guys next time on the next episode of Fiesta in a Box. Are you ready? I have to be. Okay, happy Fiesta. <laughs>